first coach is going to speak to you a little bit about his expectations in his school. This is the Trinity Falling School, which is not very far from here. And uh, his name is Coach Bill Cass.
Uh, some of you guys right now are saying, well, I want a co-ed school, and that's great, okay, and uh, God bless you, okay, we happen to feel that an all-boy single-sex education is the right idea. Our guys come for two reasons, and two reasons only. They come to study hard, they come to play hard. They don't have to worry about their girlfriends dragging them away from practice time because they don't spend enough time with them. Our guys come to do that. If you're focused on playing ball, doing well in your sport, I think we're, you know, we're a good option for you. Uh, we play New England Class A basketball, same as Trinity Calling. Uh, we do play against them in a host of other schools. We also play some of the double A's. We also put our basketball team on the, on the road three times a year to go play college junior varsity team so our guys get a chance to play against some very strong players. Okay? Uh, we do have a current uh, boys club boy playing with us, Chris McCullough, a 6 a freshman out of the Bronx. I had a double-double last night in the game against Deerfield, so Chris is coming along real nicely, not only on this wood, but in his classrooms, and that's a real important factor. Okay? An example of a young man who came in and really didn't have his study skills, and now he's turning himself into a real solid student. So we can do that for you. We have a, a learning center. We will get you all the tutoring you need. We have very similar to TP. We have about 90% of our teachers live right on campus. I run a junior-senior dorm. I have about 32 of my ball players and other students living right outside my door. Okay, my house is part of their home. Okay, but we are going to demand that you put some effort in. Coach Cass said some really good things to you, I hope you're listening. This getting admitted to a prep school is a two-way street. We're going to do our work. I promise you, our admissions guys are not going to miss a thing. They're not going to miss a trip. Okay, we're going to do everything we can to make sure that you're in the best position to be admitted to our school. The other thing is, you guys have to do your shit. And there's a lot of work that goes in. It's almost like applying for a college. Fortunately, you've got a great advantage. You've got Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Conte, Mr. Lopez. You've got people here from the boys club who are going to help you get all that paperwork done. But you still need to follow through between yourselves and your families. Okay? You come up to Salisbury School, I promise you we're going to demand that you do the school. If you're coming just to look for a prep school to play basketball at, please save yourself, save us. The time and the animation do not apply to our place. Okay, we do not want you to come just to be a basketball player. I have two Division I players on the team, kids who have already committed, who have already been offered Division I scholarships, one is signed, one is back six offers on the table, and he's a junior. They don't just play basketball, that's all I'm saying. Ryan Frazier, our junior point guard, is the lead singer in the school choir. He will be a prefect in the dorms next year. He's a leader on campus. Zay Hurst, who's already signed a Division I scholarship, is moving on. But right now, he has got probably one of the most senior positions a student can have in our school. He's a member of the school's honor committee, which is a committee of faculty and teachers that make decisions what to do with guys who don't want to follow the rules. Okay, so I'm asking you to be like that. You go to prep school, whether it's Salisbury, Brooks, Trinity Falling, anywhere. Do not go just to be a basketball player. If you want that kind of school, See me afterwards, I'll give you a list of the whole school we can just go play with. We want you to study off, play hard, and be a great member of our community, okay? And we're looking forward to it. I'll be around also. We'll chat as the day goes on. I'll speak with you folks, okay? Okay. You know, going to the Brooks School, we have Coach John McKay. Before he speaks, I just want to try to reiterate some of the alums, you know, some of the guys who have the path to blaze for you, right? Dante Milligan, as well as Carl Elliott, and several other boys club guys were outstanding student athletes at Trinity Paul. And at Salisbury, um, you know, we've had tons, you know, Michael White is a student there and did science at the University of Louisville to play baseball. But he's an outstanding academic kid and a character guy who's been on, on campus for a while and has done great things. He's grown there. Also, Demetrius Porter, some of you may have uh, heard of him. He's at Con College right now, Division Three, a very talented ball player. But more importantly, he's a really good hand on the shoulder and plays hard. Uh, this summer, it's only about her first score scored 105 points. Um, here in New York City, Demetrius Porter was playing for the opposing team. He scored 67 points against that team. So, you know, these, these are guys who, who play but have a really good hand on the shoulder to understand the values. You know, Demetrius Porter probably could have played Division One, but he chose to get a better education at Con College. So, without further ado, Brooks will get another alone, and I'll mention him after. Um, one of many of those 
freshman year, I actually wanted to start with one of the alums. Uh, our captain this year is a, a young man named Shane Rogers, uh, who was here just a few years ago doing what you're doing. He's our only senior this year. Uh, his younger brother Chad's another Boy Scout member who came up, uh, and they're both doing wonderfully at Brooks. Uh, and they embody everything that we want when we're looking at it. All right, Shane is our head prefect at the school, and right, sort of the top leadership position. Uh, he won a big award last summer from the, uh, what, what was the award, Antonio? Uh -huh. Richard Renabi was the most um, student who's really into the arts and leadership. So he's, a, he's somebody who takes care of business in the arts, and he's going to play college basketball next year at Colby College up in Maine. Right? And, and really, that's the bottom. And, and all the things you heard from the other coaches are, are true. We're a traditional boarding school. Uh, we are co-ed. We're a little bit smaller than those two schools. We have about 355 students. Uh, and it's a place where you have to take your academics very seriously, but you also take every other part of your education seriously, from your athletics to arts to you know, every part of that uh, of the community is based around your education. Uh, I, I want to echo what they said about not being a basketball player. That's one of our main main things. We don't want you to define yourself as that. Don't do that. Be a great basketball player, but be more than a great basketball player too. Do not come to Brooks if you don't want adults involved in your life. That is, uh, you know, to us, that's a really good thing, right? Because if you want to take advantage of small classes, I teach a science class of eight students, right? which is a great opportunity if you're doing this, if you're raising your hand, if you're engaging with an adult. If you're sitting there, it's not going to work. It's like coming to this is great, but it doesn't, you don't get anything out of it unless you put the hard work in. Right? So at Brooks, we, we take a lot of pride in the way that we play the game of basketball. We're off to a great start this year. Uh, we play a, a wide variety of teams. We've got a bunch of guys playing uh, from everywhere from UConn down to some great Division three schools in the next game. Uh, we've got a wide, a, a great group, group of kids coming out of there who are representing us very well, well on the basketball court, but even more so off the court. I right, wish you a lot of luck today. Hope you played hard. We're looking forward to watching it. Thanks for listening. Daisy attended the Brooks School, is an outstanding basketball player, he joined the Boys Club in Cuba, where he competed against Olympic basketball competition. And most recently, he now works at HBO Studio, and he most recently played a significant role in the documentary on Magic Johnson. So, you know, I'm not going to these places, and you can get a career involved in basketball, not even as a player, and still continue to be around the game. So at this point, what I want is I want 9th and 10th graders to kindly take a seat upstairs, and 7th and 8th graders to get to the baseline. Quick, let's go.